Kia ora, it's Emmanuel Wachuku. Welcome to week 12, Diners Speak Online Plus, level four general. I hope your assessments haven't been too stressful. <laughs> and I hope that you have settled into your new um, timetable, regular timetable with your Kayako by now. Um, I'm going to show you in this video as always, what the week will look like on Dino week, Dino Speak Online Plus. Um, this is, of course, materials that go um, that are extra in addition to um, the, the online units that you do every week. Okay, so the first thing we're looking at is this listening, which is a TED talk um, called Letan's Story. So listen to the speaker, Letan, and answer the questions below. So here's how best to do it. I advise that you have a pen and paper with you anytime you're doing a listening task. Keep your pen and paper by your side. Go look at these questions first before you actually listen to the thing, before you click on the link. Look at all the questions, and you can, in your pen and paper, write down, number one, you know, the things, um, the things that you need to listen for. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, as you listen, try not to pause the video at any point. Allow it play from start to finish. What that does for you is it gets you um, practicing, focusing on, on, on taking notes and writing down keywords as you listen. That way, when you listen a second time around, you can add even more details to your, to your notes and then use the notes to answer the questions. If you try to answer these questions while you're listening, you will miss things. So to, to make sure that you don't miss anything important, do your note taking, look at the questions again, and then when you listen a second time around, any information that you found you're still missing, add those again to your notes, and then use your notes ultimately to answer all the questions, okay? This is really good practice in, uh, in preparation for your listening assessment because your teacher will be the one pressing play and stop when you do your listening assessment. You will not be in control of, of, of the audio file that you're listening to. So you will not be able to listen to it multiple times or listen to just specific sections. Your teacher will be the one playing everything and it will always be from start to finish, okay? Yes, there might be pauses in between um, in the text, but uh, focus on note taking. Okay, the next thing that I would like you to do uh, that we would like you to have a look at is your reading. And that is um, this here on urban sprawl. So you read the text and then you do the questions below them. Now, there are some expressions that are in green highlight. Um, these expressions will help you understand even better what the text is about. So. It, it will be nice, it will be uh, helpful if you, if you would look up these words before you start uh, answering the questions. As usual, there's a main idea question here, and it's followed by this section where you find the information that is relevant to these figures on the left here. There's also language referencing, uh, section. So you look at the words in bold, find them in the section, giving you in the brackets here, and find out what those words in bold refer to in that section. Okay. And finally, a summary question where you um, use your own words to say why Pukekohe is an important region to Auckland. Again, you're doing two to three sentences, just like in the very first task, and um, you're using your own words. I can't stress that enough. Finally, the last thing I'd like you to look at is um, these articles here. These articles are supposed to help you prepare for, your, for the second part of your speaking assessment, okay? So most likely you'll be in the same groups as you were for, your, for the previous speaking assessments. So you'll be having a conversation in groups, in groups of about uh, three or four, depending on how, how your teacher has um, put you in groups. So um, each group should decide on which of these articles to focus on, because they're pretty long articles. Um, we don't expect that you will have read 
all four of them in order to begin your conversation. Um, but it's important that each group decides on which one to f they would like to focus on. And so um, whichever one you, your group decides, read that article and it will help you get ready for, have more ideas of, how, of what to contribute to your conversation, okay? So it doesn't mean that you will get questions about the thing that you've read, but it just means that you will have more, more ideas to contribute to your conversation, okay? Um, so discuss with your group members and decide on which ones you would like, which specific article rather, you would like to really focus on um, to draw your ideas from. All right, that's all for us from this week. Uh, for this week, good luck as you keep doing your assessments. Do not forget to keep working on your Dynaspeak Online units. Those are also really important to help you um, master the language that you are learning. And more importantly, please take care of yourself and follow all the safety, health and safety guidelines given for level two. And hopefully we'll beat this thing together and get back to normal life. Kia ora.